Brand new trailer for Gundam Requiem for Vengeance has dropped in. This is coming out of the San Diego Comic Con panel. So we're going to react to it in 3, 2, and 1. Let's go. Go, go, go! This is our Zach who's dropping in. Principality of Zeon. We came to take Earth away from them. They're going to do whatever they can to stop us. Perhaps none more so hey. than... Our mission was to defend the base, Neoland, not get revenge. This is tail end of one year war, then. The white devil appears. Uh, they're referencing uh, it's got armor. Shell's counters out there. It's got beam weapons that cut right through our Zaku. The Gundam. I've been hearing stories about it. I can't believe it. <sighs> Federation's new mobile suit. They're cooking with this thing. Turn the tide of the war. Oh, good a GM as well. Gundam, you're gonna wish you had a Zaku in front of you. I can promise you that. The that GM looks pretty badass. Just come back and kill my people, Doc. I'll save anyone on the battlefield. That includes you. It's I love the music. We will. It's our home. Because humanity moved to space, we've acquired abilities we've never Oh, the goof custom. Into a oh man, that looks so good in this style. And the gun, gun tank there as well. Type ability isn't magic. We all have our duties. <laughs> you know That's a cool that, shot. Alfie. I will stop the Gundam. Alright, that was, that was a cool final shot there. I'm going to release really it. October 17th. All right, nice. So there is our release date. Do we have anything else? No, we do not. That was the trailer. Before I get into my thoughts, I want to hear from you guys. So head on down to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. In. I'm going to be a little bit negative on this one, I think. It's a solid trailer. Don't get me wrong. I like what I'm seeing, especially from the fights we're getting between mobile suits. But when it comes to the animation, I don't think it works. Uh, I got to be honest, the facial expressions, the movements, they, they feel very video gamey, which makes sense. It's made in Unreal Engine 5 but it doesn't seem like the strongest use of video game graphics of that engine. I don't know, I, I'm really not feeling the human side of things with this. When it comes to the mobile suits though, I think they look really good. The animation, I, I gotta be honest, is it's gonna be a turn off for a lot of people. It was never overly a turn off for me, but the more I see it, the more I'm a little bit worried that it might not look all that great. Could tell a compelling story though, it's still kind of difficult to say, but the way that they're treating the Gundam, uh, like this specific Gundam in this, the EX, it feels like a Terminator, it feels like more of a, a horror villain. They're going for that approach of like, this thing is a monster and I love it. That final shot that you get of the EX where it's like missing an eye, so, so cool. It heavily gives me Terminator vibes. I think that's got to be some, there's got to be some inspiration there. Um, I think that side of things looks great. All the other mobile suits we're seeing, we saw you know, the GM. I think it looks great in that more realistic approach. But I think the best looking one has to be the Goof Custom. Just because like, obviously it comes from um, 8th MS Team, which is a bit more of a grounded, uh, boots on the ground, realistic approach to... Um, the original Gundam Universal Century timeline, the One Year War. Uh, so it kind of already lent into that uh, sense of realism. So then it translates to here really, really well. Like the proportions look great, where on some suits, the proportions don't look all that great. I think like the general normal Zaku's, the proportions to me just looks a bit too tall, but I think the Goof Custom looks fantastic. I think we saw the gun tank in there as well, which you might have seen in previous trailers. That looks really good as well. The mobile suit designs, a lot of people don't like them. I personally don't mind them. I think it's just the Zaku's that I'm not 100% vibing with. But the action's looking good. I'm hoping that we do have some really potentially good mobile suit fights in here, especially one-on-one -on -one stuff that we seem to be seeing. The human side of this, I, I'm not really feeling the animation, but also the, I didn't think the voice acting seemed overly great either. So I'm a little bit concerned, but I'm also hopeful at the same time. I think it's going to be something that I'm very mixed on where I really like some aspects, but then I really don't like others. Before I get out of here though, please do leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're a fan of mecha anime content. I want to see plenty more videos like this in the future. Obviously we do have that release date for Requiem for Vengeance now October 17th. I'm definitely going to be watching it and bringing you guys plenty of content, not only leading up to it, but when it releases as well. Thank you once again for tuning into Mecha Chat today, and I'll see you guys next time.